In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your NVR to set up a camera system on the network. Now, this video is for a standard network, which is a 192.168.1. whatever network. For example, I've set my NVR to the 192.168.1.80 IP address, which means that it will be able to connect to and initialize the cameras that use our default 192.168.1.108 IP address. This means that I can use this NVR over my local network to access and initialize the camera and then add it to my NVR. So first, I'm going to right click on my main menu. I'm going to click the main menu button. And then I'm going to go down to the camera setting. And here I can see that I have a uninitialized camera. You can tell that it's uninitialized because of this red status and the default IP address. We recommend initializing and configuring one camera at a time. That way you do not get you confused or you do not cause the NVR to get confused or create any potential errors that may happen if you try to initialize and configure more than one camera at a time. So again, I click the search device button here. I waited a few seconds and I found my uninitialized IP camera. So I'm going to wait for this hourglass icon to go away, which means my NVR is ready for me to use it. I'm going to go ahead and check the uninitialized camera and then there is an initialize button at the top right hand side of our interface here. I'm going to go ahead and click that. It's going to say use a local password and email. What this is going to do is going to set up the camera with the password on the NVR and the recovery email that is on the NVR. I'm of course going to want to keep these the same for my setup so I'm going to click the next button. Here I can set up a IP address for my camera. Again, this is the IP address for your camera. If you had many cameras, if you were brave in configuring many cameras at the same time, you could use the incremental value for it to swap between IP addresses and configure those cameras. Or you could use DHCP, which will tell your camera to automatically grab an IP address from your router. We don't recommend doing this. Again, uh, for organizational purposes, you'll want to set a static IP address. For example, you want to set your camera 1 to, say, 81, and then camera 2 to 82, camera 3 to 83, so on and so forth, just to keep some organization. You don't have to use our example of setting the recorder to 80, uh, camera 1 to 81, so on. You can use your own custom setup, if you will. But if you like our setup, feel free to use the 80, 81, and so on. But as you can see, I set camera 1. This will be camera 1 on my system to 81. And then I left the other two subnet mask and default gateway alone because it is, is a standard 192.168 network. So I'm going to click the next button. That's going to go ahead and take a second to push that information to my camera and set its mod IP address. And here you can see there is a status that says initialize succeed and modify IP succeed for this camera. So I'm going to click the OK button and then now, to check to see if this camera was initialized, I can click the search device button here again. It's going to search the network using my router for these, this camera. As you can see, we now turn that red X status to a green check mark icon, and that means this camera has been initialized by my NVR. If I wanted to add this camera to my NVR, I could check the camera up here at the top and then click the add button. Provided that I did use the NVR's password and recovery email address, this camera will have no problem adding to my NVR. If for some reason you change the admin password on your NVR or the password for the cameras, you will end up having some issues. So again, I simply clicked my camera up here. It was in an uninitialized state. It had the default IP address. I clicked the initialize button and ran through the initialization wizard. Then my camera was had a green status after clicking the search device button again. And then I was able to check my camera and then click the add button to add my camera. You could also do a manual add if you already have cameras on your network and would like to add them as a private device if it's from our company. Or if you have other OnVive cameras, you can click the manual add button and then click the OnVive manufacturer protocol and then use the IP address information for your camera. Please note that third party cameras over the OnVive protocol may not have all of the features or may not even work with our recorder, but that is a possibility if you have third party cameras. Hopefully this video helps you initialize your cameras for use over the network and then helps you understand that you can do a manual ad if you know what you're doing with your cameras. Thank you for watching.